And this is 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach concerning you. Kal Halal Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rekwa Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to the four corners of the earth. Waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune in to these video epistles. We we'll call this lesson this morning, Give Thanks to God Always. Of course, we know his name is Yahweh, his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. And we, the true children of Israel, are in a wonderful position. We've been found out who we are, the true children of Israel, chosen to repent, picked out of all the nations to be his special people. We don't care what anyone has to say. They can try to do their best to uh, debunk and uh, infiltrate and uh, do whatever, do whatever you need to do. We don't care. We don't care about the threats. It's not going to have any effect. This morning we're just doing a quiet exhortation, meditation, if you like. We'll have individual reasons, of course, to give thanks to our power, who is Yahweh. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is his only begotten son, our savior, redeemer. He's our high priest, mediator in the heavens. He's a champion. He's the captain of our salvation. He's our everything. It's in that name is where the saving comes, the scripture says. There is no other name. You try to get past that name to do some other thing, get up some other way. It's not going to end very well. So individually and collectively, we have our reasons to give thanks. But we're going to get straight back into it here, uh, Hebrews. And we're just going to give thanks for the whole of the, the lesson. And then that's the lesson. The lesson is meditating on giving thanks. That's it. Hebrews 13. 15 by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name tell me you don't know the name we know the name his name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew that's the only language that his name can be uttered Yahweh and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. James 1, let's get 17 and 18. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no verbalness, neither shadow of turning, of his will, of his own will, begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures we're giving thanks of course we've got to go to king david in the psalms but he has got some here in chronicles as well let's go first chronicles 29 from 10 wherefore david blessed the lord before all the congregation and david said blessed be thou lord god of israel our father forever and ever Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand is to make great and to give strength unto all verse 13 now therefore O god we thank thee and praise thy glorious name yahweh is the name let's jump into psalms then one two seven we're giving thanks 
except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord, it's all caps, it's Yahweh. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. I just wanted to include this here because we see a spiritual house being built right now. But there's some people building up other houses. But it's not the most high, it's not in all of their thoughts. He's building his house. And we're giving all honor and praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because he's chosen us. He's caused us. He's chosen us. He's caused us to come unto him, to wake up. That's the time that we're in. He's building his house. We're still in Psalms. 92. The whole lesson could be just Psalms in terms of giving thanks. It's filled of giving thanks. Psalms 92, uh, 1 and 2, I think, to begin with. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Let's jump to Six, a brutish man knoweth neither, knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, who is he? It's that Edomite, it's the devil that's in the scriptures. He's calling himself the white man. We're getting ready to brush him aside. Our power is sending his son to remove this brutish man, this proud man, out of the power seat that he's been occupying. He's prancing around the earth with all of his wicked schemes, one thing after the next. He doesn't know the Heavenly Father. He says he is him. He says he's the people of the Most High. He's totally confused. How could the vilest of vilest of man, the brute of a man, be in the place of righteousness? He is the wicked, Malachi. One and four. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. That's get what's getting ready to happen to this Edomite, the so called white man. He's just got a few things left to do, and then he's going to be swept aside the scripture uses this word besom it's a sweeping action you see in some of their movies they know what's coming they're going to be swept aside with fire verse 8 but thou O lord art most high forevermore what about psalms 118 oh give thanks we're starting from the top unto the lord for he is good because his mercy endure it forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endure it forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endure it forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endure it forever. I called upon the Lord in distress and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. He will not fear. What can man do unto me? We don't care about your threats. and It doesn't matter what you do. You cannot change the prophecies that are written in the book. Just bring your under the skin technology. Third world war. And then you're out of power. Verse 7. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations come past me about. But in the name of the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will I destroy them. And you see, we're right in the same position. We who, the children of Israel, who they've dared to give these bywords, which you don't care about them anymore. We're the children of Israel. And we're about to see the siege, a repeat of 
AD 70, where they're going to lay siege in every which way. They're setting up all of their unlawful, unrighteous, wicked decrees. It's all in position. Are we just going to get a few more? Yeah, let's get Sirach. Sirach, I think. Sirach, 51. Let's go from 7. They compassed me on every side, and there was no man to help me. I looked for succor from of men, but there was none. Then thought I upon the, thy mercy, O Lord, and upon thy acts of old. How thou deliverest such as wait for thee, and savest them out of the hands of the enemies. Then lifted I up my supplication from the earth, and prayed for deliverance from death. I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord, that he would not leave me in the days of my trouble and in the time of the proud when there was no help. Buzzword for this Edomite proud, wicked. Verse 11. I will praise thy name continually and will sing praise with thanksgiving. And so my prayer was heard. Verse 12. For thou savest me from destruction and deliverest me from the evil time therefore will i give thanks and praise thee and bless thy name o lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shai all praises all praises let's finish up with second ezra these two verses here two and let's go from 35 be ready to the reward of the kingdom. We're ready. We're ready. We want it to come quickly now. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Or receive the gift that is given you. And be glad giving thanks unto him that hath called you to the heavenly kingdom. Oh, give thanks. Let's read 37 again. Oh, receive the gift that is given you, and be glad, giving thanks unto him that hath called you to the heavenly kingdom. It's a chosen generation, yes, in the Second Peter, chosen, chosen for what? Chosen to wake up to who you are, who your power is. What is his name? It's Baruch in a land of their captivities. They shall remember themselves and call upon the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's his name. That's who we're giving thanks to always. Always. So you've been listening to give thanks to God. Always. Shalom. Till the next one.